English Story Times Book 56, Story 15. The sailboats are in a race. Line 1. These four sailboats, these four sailboats are in a race. Are in a race. These four sailboats are in a race. What are the two things, what are the two things the four sailboats are in? The four sailboats are in. What are the two things the four sailboats are in? These four sailboats are in a race. And the water, obviously. Line two. It's a good day for sailing. It's a good day for sailing. Because there's a strong wind blowing. Because there's a strong wind blowing. It's a good day for sailing because there's a strong wind blowing. Why is it a good day? Why is it a good day for sailing? For sailing. Why is it a good day for sailing? Well, it's a good day for sailing because there's a strong wind blowing. Line three. The boats are tilted, tipped. The boats are tilted, tipped. Or not straight up and down, or not straight up and down, due to the strong wind, due to the strong wind. The boats are tilted, tipped, or not straight up and down, due to the strong wind. Why aren't the boats perpendicular? Why aren't the boats perpendicular to the surface of the ocean, to the surface of the ocean? Why aren't the boats perpendicular to the surface of the ocean? Well, the boats are tilted, tipped, or not straight up and down due to the strong winds. Line 4. If there was no wind, if there was no wind, the sailboats would be, the sailboats would be dead in the water dead in the water, or simply said, they wouldn't move, or simply said, they wouldn't move. If there was no wind, the sailboats would be dead in the water, or simply said, they wouldn't move. When wouldn't the sailboats move? When wouldn't the sailboats move? Well, if there was no wind, the sailboats would be dead in the water, or simply said they wouldn't move. Line 5. On a boat there's one captain, on a boat there's one captain, and the other men, and the other men that do the work of sailing, that do the work of sailing, are called the crew, are called the crew. On a boat, there's one captain, and the other men that do the work of sailing are called the crew. Who gives the orders? Who gives the orders on board a boat? On board a boat. Who gives the orders on board a boat? Whose responsibility is it Whose responsibility is it to carry out the orders? To carry out the orders. Whose responsibility is it to carry out the orders? Well, on a boat there's one captain, and the other men that do the work of sailing are called the crew. Line 6. When there's stiff competition in a race, when there's stiff competition in a race, the boat with the best captain and crew, the boat with the best captain and crew, will win the race. Will win, will win, win the race. When there's stiff competition in a race, the coat with the coat, <laughs> the boat with the best captain and crew will win the race. 
What are the determining factors? What are the determining factors that decide which boat will win a race? That decide which boat will win a race? What are the determining factors that decide which boat will win a race? Well, when there's stiff competition in a race, the boat with the best captain and crew will win the race. Your goal is 42 seconds. You ready? Here we go. These four sailboats are in a race. It's a good day for sailing because there's a strong wind blowing. The boats are tilted, tipped, or not straight up and down due to the strong wind. If there was no wind, the sailboats would be dead in the water, or simply said, uh, they would move. On a boat, there's one captain and the other men that do the work of sailing are called the crew. When there's stiff competition in a race, the boat with the best captain and crew will win the race.